What is going on guys, it is Dorfism and welcome back to another video on my channel. Now in today's video, we're going to be checking out the server Lunaris. And as you can see, with the little dude I have following me, my own little pet, we've got a lot of cool content on this server, as well as doing a giveaway in just a minute. So stay tuned for all of that guys, and I will see you in just a minute. Uh, college educated, she graduated. Any bill she can't front, her parents paid it. Let's start off the video with a giveaway. Now to enter this giveaway for the Donator Plus ticket, all you need to do is click on the link in the description down below to get onto the server Lunaris, download the client, and leave your in-game name for Lunaris in the comment section down below, as well as leaving a like on this video and being subscribed to my channel with post notifications turned on. But that's going to be all you need to do to enter this giveaway for the Donator Plus ticket, and with that, you can actually spawn a banker pet and you can set a login message. And I believe you can go to the donator zone as well. So that's a lot of cool stuff you can do with this ticket. There is going to be only one winner. Now, as you can probably already tell, I do have this pet following me around as well as a couple other players around here. Now, this guy right here has given his pet looks like dragon boots, uh, a mithril plate body, admit medium helm, and maybe, you know, a rune mace. So maybe not the best gear, but it is something he can just give his pet and just walk around and help him out in fights. So that's a cool little unique feature right there. If you do want to make a quick buck, you can do colon colon thread 204 and it will pop up this thread now every month they will pick five of the top five voters that month and they'll be giving a reward as you can see right here the first place player that's voted the most that month will get 50 mil 07 gp and the last person uh, that ended up sliding into fifth place position got that 5 mil 07 gp now that is every month so you guys have a chance of winning that 50 mil 25 mil 15 mil 10 mil or even 5 mil if you end up getting that fifth place position so that's something i just want to quickly touch on before we move into other things because that obviously that's like a gold mine you guys you can easily just make that money if you're one of the top five voters basically just by voting every single day or at least as frequently as you can and it gives you that chance of making easy money. It's kind of boring content, but as you can see, they have a ton of stores just a little bit north of the bank. They even have a freaking boxing arena over to the west of it as well, which I'll eventually have to figure out how to get in there and maybe box out some other players. This guy has the drop tables. Let's check out that. And it actually has a drop table simulator as well. So we're on the monster drop guide. Let's search up like a rev, uh, because that's what we're going to be checking out in just a minute. Revenant imps. If we check out their you know drop tables now in this guide you guys can see pretty easily what is rare and what is not obviously we've got the very rare draconic visage and we got that salve amulet as well and now if we move over to the rare table we have 30 minute xp booster and you could actually get 7.5 mil in blood money and then we can keep scrolling down there's even a whip on here as well this is something i've never seen on a server before we went to the drop table simulator and we've typed in this imp now, as you can see, the monster name and the number of kills. We have seven. Uh, now, if we type in the amount of kills, well, let's say we get, when we go up there, we get maybe 10 kills. Right now, we're going to simulate 10 of those kills, and let's refresh it. And this is the kind of loot we could expect out of 10 of them. If I'm ever going to maybe do a loot from 1,000 or loot from 100 of a certain monster, I could probably... I should probably check out this first and see the kind of loot I could expect by doing this. Simulating the 100 kills this time, it looks like we might have hit the rare drop table because it looks like we have 4.5 mil in blood money. We even have 7.5 mil in coins and then a bunch of other cool stuff. We actually ended up hitting this ancient statuette and got the, uh, that's, a, isn't that rare? I, I'm going to double check. I'm pretty sure that's rare because if I remember correctly, Rev Imp. It's got to be a rare. No, that's an actually an ultra rare. Wow, that would have been an ultra rare. Out of even just 100 kills, we would have gotten an ultra rare. That's insane. The next thing we're going to check out is Revenants. Now, I can teleport here by clicking on any of the several different teleports in the Mage Book, then clicking on Wilderness, and it's going to be right here. Revenants, 65k to teleport over, and then going to go ahead and teleport to. Now, it's going to teleport me to the very southernmost part of the cave if you've ever been to revenants on old school i'm basically all the way at the southern part of that dungeon i have to go all the way up before i can find those revenants so our first kill here at revenants is going to get us that looting bag and some of the ether i think they're both common uh but then the looting bag might be an uncommon i don't know why i'm running all the way around but as you can see they're very very easy to kill i'm in absolute poverty gear here as well so it really doesn't take much i would only recommend watching out for the pkers so i'd definitely bring a amulet of glory or something you can teleport out from 30 wilderness or below it's pretty good money here at Revenant, so i would definitely recommend checking it out or at least getting a couple kills here before maybe trying something else I'm pretty sure all of Revenants have the same drop table. So, oh, I got an XP, a 10, 10 minute XP boost. I'm not gonna use it yet, but I'm just gonna hold on to it and then pick up the rest of these items. 
For some reason when I was recording this, my audio and my video messed up and I ended up losing that footage. But right now I'm showing off the Admin Dragons and the Rune Dragons. I can teleport the Admin Dragons, but unfortunately I need Super Donator Rank in order to teleport to the Rune Dragons. Both of them are pretty decent money. But right now I'm showing off the Dragon Key. And it actually takes four pieces to craft this dragon key and with that dragon key i can teleport to vorkath which is a really good money maker method and as you can see just briefly the drop table right there is absolutely insane so let's go check out vorkath right now i've teleported into vorkath area and it's going to cost you 100k to get in here and then i'm going to need the dragon key as well so it's a lot of work to get to vorkath but like i showed you on the drop table it just it's the drops in there are absolutely insane i'm going to get shit on here but uh, as you can see we have vorkath just chilling right now uh, I think I can go over and just poke it and it's gonna go and wake up and then it's gonna absolutely just blast me right there So I'm gonna teleport out before I get shit on and die But as you can see they've got working Vorkath and we still have our key intact So I believe we can go back again unless maybe we die Raids is another unique feature on this server It only costs 65k to teleport in and it's actually really really unique now on Lunar S They have a bunch of monsters spawn into one little area and you need at least four people in order to get the loot at the very end As you see in this first phase, they're all dragons It's a quite easy phase and then it moves on to a bunch of demons and it gets progressively harder and harder moving on now The last phase has two jads. Yeah, two jads, which makes it a little difficult But it's still pretty easy to complete now, unfortunately for our team, I think one of our members ended up dying or maybe just leaving midway through. So we ended up with only three people, which meant we couldn't actually get a drop at the end. So that's kind of sucks. I couldn't get the short off to you guys. And still is a very cool system, just the way that everything is a bunch of people in there. That's normally a bunch of monsters and it gets very hectic very quickly. And then obviously the loot is pretty good as well. But that's going to about end it for today's video, guys. Hope you did enjoy this video. I will see you guys next time. Be sure to enter into the giveaway. I'm going to be giving away that one donator ticket to some lucky winner. All you have to do is leave your in-game name in the comment section down below for LunarS. Make sure you click on the link in the description down below to download the client and jump on to play. It's a ton of fun on this server. And then also make sure you subscribe to my channel and you leave a like on this video as well. So I'll see you guys next time. Have a great day and uh, peace.